Hello, this is Tolf from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to an add-on called the Extra Light add-on. Uh, it's pretty direct. There's a lot of presets in it. And I'll leave a link of it below this video. So you can check it out yourself and uh, give it a look-see. But installation is still the same process. It's uh, Edit, Preferences, Install, Navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your system. Click on install add-on. Let me type in extra. And there it is. Just put a check in the box and it's activated. And it can be used from Blender 2.82 or 8.1 all the way up to 4.0. I'm using 2.81 myself. And this location is in the pop-up menu when you press Shift A. Shift A there. Mesh. Actually go down to lights. Because in Blender, these are the default lights that it has inside of Blender. But with the extra lights add-on, there's natural, incandescent, LED, and fluorescent. Uh, these are all presets that you can use, you know, for whatever scene you want. Uh, let's change our viewport to see what the rendering would look like. Let me delete that default light in the uh, scene. Delete. Go up to this option and it works in cycles and in EV. Uh, I think we can use either one. I'm going to switch to um, let me switch to cycles. GPU compute. And I'm going to make it a dark, darker scene so you can actually see what the lights look like. So once again, shift A in our keyboard. We want to scroll down to lights. And let's choose um sunsets and you can see it gives us a sunset kind of feel for it and all your parameters or in your light settings once the light is selected just go to this light bulb icon here click on that you have your settings here and sunsets are usually you know orange versus orange something along those lines so you have that color already set up for you uh, the strength is at 50 angle so on and so forth with some of these lights, it's just really, really bright, and you have to adjust them yourself. Uh, let's delete that. Let me bring up another one. Press delete on my keyboard. Shift A again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Light. And if we go to natural light again. Okay, wasn't it, is it coming up? Oh, there it is. Uh, if we click on direct sun, it just floods floods our cube with lights. Let's delete the cube and put it in Suzanne so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Shift A, Mesh, Monkey. Now you can see Suzanne is completely, all of her details are completely, almost <clears throat> completely gone. If we make her smoother, Subdivision Surface, crank that up to two, you can see that the details are just not visible because there's so much sun strength. Uh, but you can still adjust that. I usually put it down to like five myself. And now you can see the details in the eye uh, and the brow and on the ear and things like that. So with some of these uh, presets for the extra light add-on, they're kind of strong, but you have to just reduce them yourself. And some of them have no setups. And those would be the fluorescent and the incandescent lights. So if you press Shift A, let's get rid of this light here. Delete. Shift A. Uh, let's go back to light again. Incandescent. You have your different kind of lights. You have you can have like in your in a home, in your appliances, like a stove or an oven. Uh, let's click on the strongest one, which is this for a mini can wide. Click on that. And it kind of it's not really that bright. Some of them, like I said, for you have to adjust them to make them like visible in your scene but pull that up and it gives us a good amount of lights on our scene but if you look in the note setup you have more settings here that you can adjust the temperature the tint so on and so forth the IES texture IES that actually helps you get more realistic looking lights in your scene because sometimes with blender the default lights aren't that good that's why we tend to use lights from add-ons to help us give more realism to our scene and IES actually helps that I forgot what IES stands for but it actually helps the scene look more realistic but yeah 
So the incandescent ones have the nose set up. And the fluorescent, did we choose the fluorescent one already? Let me see. Yeah. Fluorescent one. Uh, let's click on that. Let's see what that gives us. That gives us a spotlight. If you pull that up, look down here. It's the same setup. It has the regular lights uh, default settings here, uh, parameters. And then in the node setup, it gives us more options to adjust lights even further with the temperature and the IS texture and so on and so forth. So yeah, the uh, extra light add-on is a pretty nifty add-on. And um, the price ranges from like $15 to around like, I think, 60 or so. Which again on the 60 and I think it's 60, but on that end it's kind of high. Um, but for the $15 one for personal use, it's not that bad. And it helps you get a lot of presets in your scene easily without you having to do much yourself. So that's today's Blender Quick Tip, which is the extra light add-on. And I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. Once again, thank you guys who have watched the videos. And remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see everyone on the next one. All right, adios.